Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to another episode of a uh, this build series for this oil rig. Uh, Career-focused oil rig. And, uh, yeah, so, let's see. A brief rough over. We've completely tore down the old test platform, rebuilt it, ended up adding a new drill arm setup. We uh, ended up tearing, uh, getting the arms fully uh, set up into a basic manner and we provided a basic setup for the fluid for the slurry and the fresh water got a container set up so they can exchange it however uh, there's gonna be some changes this episode we're gonna see about where we can get the plumbing installed and uh, yeah it's gonna take quite a bit now this is gonna be a bit of a Quick build. There's going to be a lot of speed builds in this, so I uh, hope you enjoy the tunes that I include, and uh, yeah. So, hope you like what you see, enjoy what you watch. If you do, like, subscribe, leave a comment, helps me out, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, no, screw it. Nope, I like the idea, but you know what, in the end... No. I'm just going to scrap it. Not that I want to do it. It's just that this is supposed to be a career focused one. So I want it cheaper and it's starting to add up in price. So I'm just going to strip out the, um, I'm just going to make the tanks permanent and just make them refillable. It's a lot easier probably just to do that because I know like these instrument panel parts, they're expensive, relatively expensive. Connectors have a price. The screens have a price. Whoops. Well, no, it's fine. Uh, no, actually I'll keep the frames. I just need to get rid of the connectors. That looks good. This end looks good. 
Okay, so yeah, the tanks are added now. Uh, now we need to get the actual fluid going. Because I wanted separate inputs for these things for the water, and I couldn't do that on a tank. Not without a whole bunch of connectors, and I thought at that point, if I'm doing that, I might as well just give them their own thing. And this is probably just going to turn into a mess anyways. So I'll just set up refill stations for, you know, whatever I need. And I got the fresh water on this side, so it'll be easier just to set up a refill thing for it. Part of me is wanting to do a, uh, a whole bunch of cylinder heads again. <laughs> uh, that's 30,000 liters fluid right there so um okay slurry out slurry ends on the other side uh now the real question is How am I going to get these to work properly? Because it'd be cool if I can get... I can remove these struts and make them pipes, and they will send the slurry down to wherever. This is probably not going to stay. Shut up, Windows. Go away. That's probably going to be just part of the refill mechanism. Um... Actually, let's grab one here. Basically, we're going to do... How much space do I have between the top and the bottom here? Probably about two blocks. Okay. Oh, wow. This thing's... How much are these damn... Filters? see what 300 526 320 dollars for those filters oh So what's the expensive part? Wait a minute, how much is a rod? Two forty one. Wait, why did it change?
Because I thought I was like 506. Oh, wait. I got rid of those pipes. That's right. Never mind. I got rid of those spare pipes that were just hanging in the air. That's why it's a little off. Okay. Because I'm sitting here thinking, it's like, this rig has less materials on it than the prototype rig I made, but yet it costs more. <laughs> uh... Okay, well, let's get the plumbing going.
was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so lame You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall I think that's actually nice and concentrated. There's not a lot of overlap. And I should be able to get the slurry stuff taken care of. Uh, funny enough, I'm probably going to cut this tank in half. <sighs> this one. Just rework a new entire one i mean i thought about that the reason why i want to cut in half is i want the so part of me because i was experimenting with the filters earlier and i can get them to run faster if you know i try to mix some of the regular slurry in with the saturated slurry and the question is if that really is faster overall or if it's still just the three liters a second of processing, just happens to get all the other stuff to come through it faster. Uh, so, because I was thinking that just the output of this right here dumps straight into the tank, and then this dumps through the filters, and then the filters go straight into here, and it just cycles like that. Instead of having a slurry tank that catches having a ref, the saturated tank catching stuff instead of having a separate saturated tank and a separate slurry tank and then the saturated stuff just gets thrown in and then you have to wait for it to process I'm wanting to just run all the slurry through the filters irregardless and just forget about a tank one and a tank two. And see what happens. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's not hard to, like, copy that setup and just, you know, make separate tanks. Because I was thinking two smaller tanks, you know, cut this in half and have one tank is one, one tank is the other. One receives the saturated slurry, goes down, and this stuff pumps into here for the slurry, and then another line comes down into here and feeds this system. Because I already have, you know, like these lines set up on the ends, so that's completely feasible to do. Oh... I want to try just the straight through circuit first. 
I want to see how that goes. But the problem is, is I need saturated slurry for that. <laughs> uh, hold on. Is there a you know what? Let me just let me just set it up first. Then I'll worry about the spawner.
All right, there's straight through system, and I'll see how it works. What? Uh, okie dokie, schmokey, I think we're all set there. Now, the only thing... So we have pumps there. We've got a pump in here. Bringing the slurry out. Uh, speaking of which, let's get that hooked up. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end it off for the time being. And as you saw, I ended up uh, completely scrapping the original container idea. Due to reasons of I thought it was just going to cost too much, and I'm not completely done with the system yet. I still have to actually come up with a method to refill the containers from an external source. And uh, yeah, so that should be coming up. Uh, for now, this is going to be probably the last episode because this this brings it basically up to snuff for the build. I have another 12 hours of footage, but it's all logic work. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a video where I'm basically going to go over all the logic work I did. And most of it's just to get this arm automated, to do a cycle and then bring up and down. And I think the last four hours was me just getting all the pumping working. So, yeah. Hopefully in my next stream I should be actually working on the structure some more. But, uh, yeah. Look in for the next episode. We're going to be doing, uh, I'll probably go over the logic and what I got done. And, uh, yeah. So, if you ever want to join me on streaming, I'm over on Twitch as Arcades Test. Hope you can join me there. And uh, I do it about every other Sunday, which as of this streaming should be next, or the upcoming Sunday after this uh, video is released. And uh, yeah, Sunday night, 9 p.m. Yes. So yeah, hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed what you watch. This is Arcades, signing out. Have yourself a good day.